thing that we're going to do is go over the punch placement in the mitts. How you should hold the mitts when the punches are being delivered. So we'll, so we're using the curved mitt. So Robert's going to come over here. We're going to first we're going to do basically we're going to just do all our punch logistics. So when you're holding the mitts for the jab, your objective is to make sure that the glove lands as he rotates it through. You switch the jab, bang. That's first. Bring it back. Speed it up. Pop. Not super fast, Pat Cap. Ready? Walk through, go. Pop and back. Reflex. There. And back. And again. Boom. And again. Again. Good. Again. Four more. Three. Two. One. Good. And we keep the hands placed here so the elbow does not drop. Using mitts is a great tool, but you must understand how to keep the guy in punch position. His punch logistics are everything. So if you teach him right, he shoots the jab here, keeps the elbow high and turned over, bring it back in that same line. Pop, pop, his knuckles rotate over, land perfectly flush inside the mitt. Now we go to the right hand. So we're going to do the exact same thing. Rotate. Rotate. Good. Six more. One. Two. Three. Four. Good. Five. And six. And see what's happening is he's also mastering his punch logistics. Meaning bringing him in. Pop, 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 pop. And you have to get repetitions with this over and over and over again. If not, you'll throw flailing punches, slapping punches. And now, with the repetition that we put in, we do six to seven rounds of this just to get that basic punch logistics set going. The next one, we're going to throw the hook. We're going to go throw the hook. Throw the hook. Just demonstrate it like here. When you're throwing the hook, is the Place your base right here. All the weight is from the waist down. So cover your hands, bring them up to here, and throw it. Rotate, boom, boom, and turn the hand over so you're hitting the big knuckles. Pop, 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 just like that. Key is making sure that you keep the feet and the hands connected at all times. That's how you generate power from the ground to the punch. Pop, pop, and that's what we're going to demonstrate inside of the mitts now. Ready? Let's rock. Slow mo, pop, and boom. Good. Good. And when you're holding the mitt, you want to make sure you gauge it. Pin it, boom, boom, and slowly riding it over the top of the glove making sure you're not putting immense pressure on the heel of the palm. Because if you do, what you'll do is you'll start to develop pains in the wrist, tendonitis. That's important not to do. Ready? Good. 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 Perfect placement. Right in the cup. Keeping it. Perfect shot. Good. Nice. And that's how you do the left hook. Now we're going to start with the right uppercut. My name is Coach Bradley, and I thank you guys for watching. Because this is Master Boxing, where you'll get your masters in boxing. So long.